lads. So we've just done a team of a season for the AHO objective, and that was an online objective. And I mean, I like how EA are adding the two objectives back together again. So we're going to have an offline objective and an online objective to work through. Now, if you guys are enjoying these uh, objective guides, we're going to get some player reviews out as well tonight. So if you guys are looking forward to that, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Let's get into the objective guides. Now, if you guys are new to this objective guides uh, series, basically, excuse the hiccup, basically, what we do is we go over all of these objectives. I'll give you guys my tips and tricks and if necessary I will build you guys a squad builder that you can use to complete these objectives now today we're going to be looking at Amaro Jr now hopefully I'm pronouncing that right I'm probably pronouncing it a little bit wrong so let's just make it easy for ourselves and call him Jr now he looks like a very good card 89 rated uh Eredivisie left back and I would assume 96 pace absolutely rapid 91 dribbling as well so you'd probably feel quite good on the ball now let's just start off and get straight into it now first of all we've got score in three separate squad battle matches on at least professional difficulty using players with at least four star skill moves now the beauty of this is you've got the option to do it in division rivals as well now it is much easier to do it in squad battles but you probably would literally get this done if you're playing division rivals anyway assuming you've got you know strikers in your main team with four star skill moves you've got scored two goals using Eredivisie players in two separate squad battle matches on at least professional difficulty once again you can do it in division rivals if you want to but just for the sake of the video we're going to be doing it in squad battles it's just using a defender in three separate squad battle matches on at least semi-pro with at least five Eredivisie players in your squad and score using Brazilian players in eight squad battle wins on at least professional. So it looks like you're going to want to go down the professional route and build like a Brazilian, have a full Eredivisie team with some Brazilian strikers up top. Now the assist using a defender, we'll get into this in a second and I've got a way that literally makes it so much easier it, it, it's so much easier and i think we had a very a very similar objective requirements last year during team of the season for squad battles but the assist of a defender is an easy way around it so let's get into the squad builder now the squad builder part of the video we're going to build you guys a squad builder that you can use between roughly 15 and 25 000 coins that will obviously work for you guys to get this objective done right so this is a team we have come up with now you may be like this doesn't look a very good team now there is lots of eredivisie players if you've got the budget for it what i would do is i would get a few players in this team number one matt I'm, I'm gonna not even try to pronounce his name but i'll get this card in it right back um i would also get anthony sorry not anthony you know anthony in at left wing on seven chemistry and as well i would go for uh timber the, the center back uh where is he i'd go for gravenberg as well and i'd go for timber now the reason we've not used these cards is are currently out of packs as they are team of the season cards and if i were to use them in this then it would bring the price up so much like these cards this Anthony and I don't know when you guys will be seeing this but if you're seeing this like within the first day this is uploaded get on it give them meta cards give it meta Eredivisie boys in but lots of them are currently out of packs Timber the right backs out of packs uh Anthony's out of packs Gravenberg is out of packs which means if you're watching this in five or six days time their gold card might be really expensive like five or six thousand coins and I don't want you guys to have to spend that much on a squad builder now I know the squad builder doesn't look amazing but it will definitely be more than enough to get these objectives done on at least professional difficulty in squad battles now i've gone for 4 3 3 and at left wing we have it gone for carlson uh, striker we've gone for vinicius as he is a brazilian as well he will get the brazilian goals sorted right wing we've gone for david neres our free center mids we've gone for we'll just say we'll just say his first name being frederick honestly doesn't look a bad well-rounded card we've gone for alvarez as our central one now cocktail is the only exception that i am using he is out of packs but once he is a gold common then that means i feel like he be a little bit easier to pack i know gold rares as well but i think people will be opening you know 15k 7.5s so i do think just buy this card before he does go too expensive but there wasn't really other too much good center mid so i didn't want to go too overboard this is the only player in this team that is currently out of pack so please buy this card as soon as you can or as soon as you're seeing this video so he doesn't get too pricey left back we've gone for philip max our two center backs we've gone for lissandro martinez and a boss Cagli, i'm pretty sure it's pronounced as i said you would want to get timber in here but if he is over your price budget as he is out of packs and he'll be going extinct not maybe not extinct but he'll be going you know people will be wanting to buy these players then get on that quickly right back we've gone for a get a druida and in net we have gone for a buy low now honestly this is a solid serie a, sorry not serie a era divisi side you can get the job done we've got the defensive minded player in the middle we've got the two center mids now you may be asking how do i get those defender assists you were talking about simple as soon as you get into the game chuck a pause straight away and you're right back 
move him up to right wing. Your left back, move him up to left wing. Easy has it. Yeah, sure, you got a left wing and right wing at uh, fullback, but if you want, you can simply sub them off, which leads me into tip number two. Fill the bench with your main squad, all right, lads? Fill the bench with the main your main squad so you can sub them on. For example, I can have my Moments Alarm, my Prime Socrates, and my Base Eusebio, and I can pause it straight away and sub them on as well. So what I'd personally do is I'd get some defensive-minded subs in here so you can replace your fullbacks. Uh, see, I can put my Traore here. Perfect. Now what I can do is I can chuck a pause straight away. This is how we go into the game like this, right? Go into the game like this. Now make sure you don't sub off uh, both your Brazilian lads because you need the Brazilian goals. So I'll probably keep your Vinicius up front. Now as soon as you pause it in game, move your left back and right back up to right wing. The reason behind that is because for the assist goals with defenders, it'll be a whole lot easier to assist from the right wing or left wing position than it would be with a full back position. Then you can make your super subs. You can sub on Traore and you could maybe sub on Fulop Lam at left back. Um, obviously I know Philip Lam for me, it might be someone else for you. So this is what it would line up in game, and you could even chuck on Socrates here if you wanted to. So this is what it would look like in game. You've got your fullbacks as right wings, and once you're moving them in game and not starting them at right wing, it will count as uh, defender assist. So just make sure to move him up, and then obviously you, you can uh, fiddle around with the super subs from there. Lads, this is a relatively easy objective. Now I'm going to leave you guys with one last tip, which is going to be for the squad battles. Now basically with squad battles, you get four teams every single day but you can refresh them after you play one for example you usually get two really solid teams sometimes you get three but you also get some relatively shit teams for example I was doing my icon swaps in this one and bet it 12 nil we've also like this was a team we had to play it was absolutely dreadful right so usually you get a couple good teams and then a couple absolutely terrible teams now you're just gonna want to keep playing the poor teams now you need to play it on professional difficulty remember so make sure it's on professional and then after you play that you have the option to update again you can update it by pressing square on the playstation and x on the xbox and then you just confirm it if you do go over your 40 game limit which is what i have done if i move my webcam you can see in the kind of like the top right below the uh, the, the points and rank you can see 40 out of 40 games played if you go over that limit it only means your points after you play a game stops counting but it will still count towards your objectives now as you can see the next batch has given us a 189 which you'd want to avoid but they've also given us a 77 rated with 86 chemistry now that is definitely beatable on professional uh the easiest one out of a lot an 84 rated with only 55 chem let's have a look at this one mm, quite beatable on professional and then this one here is most likely going to be the worst because it is only 75 rated and it's only yeah perfect so you'd want to choose the worst team play that on professional after you play that one you'll have the option to refresh it again and you keep repeating play the shit team Refresh. Play the shit team. Refresh. The only team this affects is your overall squad battles rank if you do care about that. We're just going to go over the objectives one more time and give it one more recap, but this is relatively simple and self-explanatory. Score in three separate squad battles with players with at least four-star skill moves. As well, I did actually forget to mention uh, the four-star skill move players we have gone. I believe in this yes is actually three star so he's three star right um, but you've got this David Neres who has five star skill moves which is why I have chosen him so when I said move him down to right back I probably would actually move him down to center mid and move your full back up here so you've still got this player to try and score with uh, with a five star skill moves right and I believe Carlson if I remember correctly is four star skill moves so happy days obviously just make sure not to completely sub them off as I was saying before um, but you want to move the full backs up and keep David Neres on the pitch so you can get that one done um, so yeah going back to that one you've got the uh, score in three separate squad battles using players with four star skill moves you could once again use players you subbed on if you want if they got four star skill moves score two goals using Eredivisie players your whole squad is Eredivisie is this using a defender in three separate matches with at least five Eredivisie players in your starting squad literally you only need to move your fullbacks up in game for three games assuming you get the assist in each game and then you can go back to normal then you've got score using Brazilians in eight squad battles wins which is why I recommend keeping either Vinicius or David Neres on the pitch the whole time, as they are the only two Brazilian players in this team. Hopefully this objective guide did help you guys out, and if it did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and comment down below, which team of the season cards you want me to see reviewed? I've got a 200,000 coin budget, and there's some incredible value looking cards. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you boys later.